Sun in Pisces, Moon in Libra. This combination is one of the kindest and most giving of the Sun-Moon pairings. However, they can also be surprisingly secretive and strategic, and can be master manipulators if they so choose. Here we're combining Piscean sensitivity and intuition with Libran contemplation and diplomacy. This is undoubt undoubtedly an old soul combination. This person was born wise to some extent, uh, maybe more so than others, and is highly observant of its surroundings, especially socially. However, old soul wisdom can sometimes escape the Pisces Libra because this personality is so open-minded that it can be naive as well, especially early in life. There is a Venusian influence on both the sun and the moon here, and so this will be a sort of archetypal Venusian character. Um, so what does that mean? So this means that this person will be warm and charismatic at times and has an easygoing personality that is easy to get along with. Um, however, Venus can be detached and strategic as well. This is an intelligent combination which is not ambitious in the traditional sense of the word. It prefers to use brains or charisma, rather, over brawn, um, naturally attracting to it what it wants rather than directly obtaining it. In fact, much of the personality is subtle and indirect. It's almost as if the Pisces Libra is an infinite onion of never-ending um, layers or a never-ending labyrinth, always possessing more layers with no final conclusion, no concrete category or modality to be confined to. What makes this lack of clarity all the more perplexing is the Pisces Libra's occasional profound insight or observation that they can provide. In other words, they can be extremely clear at times if they so choose. They can be, um, um, they can provide insight that's very, very clear and very um, grounded even. But the mystery is, why is that not always there or why does it change? Um, they're sort of always changing and they, I think they sort of use that detachedness as a sort of mechanism, not only a safety mechanism, but also um, they use it in order to maneuver around the world more easily and they can slip through everyone's fingers. Ultimately, this is an interesting combination. It is water and air and so it is ethereal, partially in this world and partially in another. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below, or you can email me at manic.mercurian at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.